Okay, what we're going to do is create an animal in 3D. And we're going to use something that I like a lot called Model Magic, which comes in packages like this. And we're going to, uh, you're going to pick an animal that you would like to create. And I'm going to ask you before we begin creating it to draw a sketch of that animal. And on your tables, you'll find um, ideas for different animals. And what I've done already is I've made a sketch of a teddy bear, which I'd like to make out of Model Magic. So we have to take a look at the sketch we made and decide what 3D forms are we going to begin with. Okay, so I'm going to put a mat on my table so my Model Magic does not stick. I'm going to open up the Model Magic, and we're going to be using white Model Magic because we can always paint it or use marker to change the color. So if I look at this, I'm going to start with the head. The head is a circle, and the ears are half circles, the body's an oval. So what would my 3D circle form be called? If you said sphere, you were right. So I'm going to start out with a sphere for the head. I'm going to start out with um, a cylinder for the body, which I can mold into an oval shape. And I'm going to use cylinders for the arms and legs and half circle shapes or half a sphere shape for the ears. So what's fun about Model Magic is all you need are scissors, a roller to flatten it, and a stick if you want to um, press in any designs. And I'm going to use a Sharpie. So let's get started. I'm going to cut my Model Magic in half because I don't need all of it right away. And actually, I think I'm going to cut it again. And I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to squeeze it. Pressing and squeezing. This is called kneading the clay or kneading the Model Magic. You're making it softer and more pliable. And I'm going to roll it like I would a snowball in my hands. And I can also roll it on my mat using the palm of my hand. And the more I roll it, the smoother it will get. And I'll get out any creases or lines that are in the clay. Actually, this looks pretty good. And I'm going to take that sphere and set it aside. And I'm going to take another piece and squeeze it. And I'm going to make this into a cylinder shape. Again, I can roll this. If I keep rolling it and rolling it, it's going to get too thin. So I'm going to press it down a little bit to make it a little wider. Using my fingers, I'm going to roll it a little bit more get those creases out. I can always just use my thumbs and my fingers to kind of press out the creases. So I'm making this nice cylinder which I'll shape into more of an oval in a little bit. Okay, so let's see what we have. We got the sphere, we got the cylinder. Let's move those away. I'm going to take more of this clay or Model Magic. I'm going to cut and I'm going to make the legs. I'm going to squeeze it and I'm going to really roll it into a coil. If I keep rolling and rolling it will get longer and skinnier and it would be more like a snake. I don't want, a bear doesn't have really skinny legs. So I don't want to keep rolling it too much. They're definitely thinner than his body. And I'm going to need two arms. So I'm just going to take my scissors and cut this in half. So I have my two arms. And actually, one arm is longer. I'm going to trim this one. And I don't want to throw away my scraps. I'm going to keep that. I'll probably use that extra clay. Or maybe somebody at your table will need it. Okay, so I now have two little um, cylinders. I have a big cylinder and I have the sphere for the head, but I do need legs. So I'm going to take another piece, squeeze it, 
kind of kneading it, making it a little soft. I'm going to roll it again into a cylinder. I'm going to pat it to make it kind of chunky. And my bear is going to be seated, so I don't need long, dangling, skinny legs. He's there. You're just really going to see parts of his legs in the bottom of his feet. I can flatten out each end, and I'm going to cut these also. Let's see if they're the same size. Yeah, they are. All right, let's put this together, what we have so far. I'm going to put his head on top of his body. Okay. And I'm going to, let me check my photo. Yep, I'm going to put one arm here, press it on. I'm going to put the other arm over here and press. Now my bear is, looks a little bit put together, but he still needs his legs. Whoops, he almost fell. I'm going to put another leg over here. And I can just smooth it together and another leg over here. Right now he doesn't look like much of anything. He could almost be a person right now. But I'm going to make him look like a bear by doing these little ears that are half of spheres. So let me move him aside. Let me take another piece of model magic. I'm going to roll this into a mini sphere. Actually, I'm going to pinch some of that off. I'm going to roll it into a smaller sphere. And I'm going to press it down. So it's a little bit of a flatter sphere, but it's not paper thin like a piece of paper. And then I'm going to cut that in half. There we go, I have two halves. And I'm going to stick one on one side of his head and press in so it gives it a little bit of a shape. And the other one on the other side and kind of press it in with my finger. So now he's got his little ears and I could work on those a little bit to mold them a little bit better. And if I refer again back to my photo, he has this round part of his face. That's called the muzzle, which I'm going to create too. I have a little piece over here. And I'm going to roll that and press it in a little bit. I'm turning it with my finger. And I'm going to put that right, I'm going to turn him around, put that right in the middle of his face. It's hard for you to see this because it's white on white, but now I can add details to make them look more like my bear. I'm going to add two eyes. I'm just going to press in with a Sharpie. There we go. And I need to add a nose, so I'm going to turn him around so he faces me. And I'm going to give him a little triangle-shaped nose. Now, I could really add another piece of clay, cut it out in the shape of a triangle, but I sort of like doing it this way. But you can do what you want with your animal. So let me turn him around. So he's got his cute little face. And then what I'm going to do is put his draw on his little paw pads. Those are the pads on his front paws and back paws. I'm just going to add one, two, three, and do an oval. And on this side, one, two, three, and then do an oval. And then the same thing on his bottom paws. One, two, Three, and you could use any colors you want. I'm using black right now, but you could do whatever colors you want. One, two, three, and add the little oval. There he goes. He's looking more and more like a bear. And then I could color in the inside of his ears, which I think I'll do really quickly so you can get started in a sec. And in my drawing, I have colored in his, his chest 
but I think I like them all white right now. So what do you think? Want to get started? Think of the animal you want to create and do a little sketch.